Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal channel. The latest buzz surrounds SpaceX's Starship updates. Although Starship's fourth test flight is yet to happen, SpaceX is already gearing up for the fifth launch. Yes, just recently on May 8, SpaceX conducted a static fire test at Starbase, South Texas. In this latest static fire test, all six massive Raptor engines of Starship, towering nearly 50 meters high, were simultaneously ignited on the launch stand, creating a truly impressive sight. With this successful test completed, they are now poised for Flight 5, promising new breakthroughs in space exploration, opening doors to commercial space travel and ambitious missions to Mars. However, this success is just the beginning of SpaceX's journey to conquer space. Many challenges lie ahead. Stay tuned to the video for more intriguing details, SpaceX routinely conducts static fire tests before launches, and this time, the tested vehicle was not the next candidate to leave Earth's orbit. That honor belongs to Starship Flight 4, slated for launch later this month. SpaceX has completed static fire tests for both components of Starship Flight 4, including the ship upper stage and the massive super heavy booster with 33 Raptor engines at the lower stage. Therefore, Starship Flight 4 is deemed ready. However, SpaceX still requires FAA clearance for launch. Currently, the FAA appears to be investigating an incident from SpaceX's recent launch. The third flight, involving both the Super Heavy Booster and Ship Upper Stage, took place from Starbase on March 14. According to SpaceX, Starship performed well that day. The two stages successfully separated, and immediately after, Super Heavy executed a perfect boost back burn to return to a controlled landing position over the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, the upper stage achieved orbital velocity and flew for approximately 50 minutes, the longest duration yet for a Starship spacecraft. However, both stages were lost. Super Heavy crashed at an altitude of about 1,650 feet 500 meters above the surface and ship disintegrated during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, returning to the recent May 8 static fire test. The successful trial dispelled any doubts about SpaceX's relentless efforts in conducting static fire tests. This underscores their commitment to ensuring S-30's readiness. It's a testament to their dedication to mission success, the preparations for the May 8 static fire test were meticulous. The fueling process began around 10.45 am. As anticipated, the frost line appeared, indicating that the liquid oxygen tank was fully fueled, similar to the second test on May 7. About 45 minutes later, the engine chill-down process commenced, marked by steam plumes venting beneath the test stand, signifying engine readiness. The official static fire test occurred around 11.58 am on May 8, with all six engines firing simultaneously, producing thrust exceeding 1,000 tons. The entire event lasted about 4 to 5 seconds, with the flame remaining robust but noticeably less dusty compared to previous tests. Post-test low-frequency waveforms showed an atmospheric pressure of 18 pascals from a distance of 75 miles without data filtering. After filtering, sound frequencies below 5 Hz and pressures around 2 pascals were detected. Following this successful test, SpaceX marked this milestone with an official statement. Currently, Starship May 30th proceed with several next steps. It could remain on the launch stand for another static fire test, this time with a single engine. Similar procedures were recently conducted with the S-28 and S-29 prototypes. Alternatively, Starship 30 might be immediately moved to the production site for further upgrades. While official details on relocation are unconfirmed, the possibility of conducting a static fire test on May 9, coinciding with road closures, seems unlikely. Another notable development after this test is that this might be the final static fire test conducted for Starship prototypes at Starbase. Future prototypes are expected to be relocated to the Massey test area for static fire testing using a newly built flame trench system. SpaceX seems to have completed the flame trench construction and is preparing for the first test. Prototype S26 is planned to participate in evaluating this system. In addition, the Starliner CFT-1 flight, one of the most anticipated missions recently, has been rescheduled to the evening of May 17. 
This is the second postponement from the original launch schedule, causing disappointment within the spaceflight community. Furthermore, safety concerns persist. Valve Tech Inc., the supplier of 14 valves for the Starliner CST-100 spacecraft, has voiced serious safety concerns. The president of Valve Tech highlighted significant safety risks related to a leaking valve, urging NASA to immediately halt the Starliner launch. Starliner was originally scheduled to launch late on May 6 as part of the Crewed Flight Test CFT, a mission lasting about 10 days to transport two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station ISS, and return them safely. However, the mission control team cancelled the launch attempt just two hours before the scheduled liftoff on Monday after discovering a faulty oxygen pressure reduction valve in the upper stage of the ULA's Atlas V rocket carrying the Starliner into orbit. ULA officials noted that this valve had abnormally vibrated during the countdown, necessitating a launch delay. Initially, NASA, ULA, and Boeing expressed optimism that the issue could be swiftly resolved, even potentially allowing for another launch attempt on the night of May 7. However, this did not materialize. While space exploration is crucial, safety remains paramount. NASA, Boeing, and ULA must meticulously complete all necessary preparations, especially those related to safety requirements, before proceeding with the mission. Putting Starliner aside, let's delve into another notable achievement by SpaceX. At 2.42 p.m. on May 8, SpaceX accomplished another proud milestone, marking a historic turning point. The Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched 23 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit, LEO, from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center. This not only showcases the impressive capabilities of Falcon 9 but also surpasses the total number of shuttle missions previously conducted at this legendary launch pad. As of now, SpaceX has completed a total of 83 orbital launches from LC-39A, surpassing the 82 shuttle missions conducted over 30 years. Among these, 74 launches were by Falcon 9 and the remaining 9 by Falcon Heavy. This achievement demonstrates SpaceX's dominance in commercial spaceflight. Their vehicles have surpassed the giants of previous generations, including the iconic Space Shuttle. This event not only demonstrates SpaceX's adeptness with this historic launch pad but also emphasizes their efforts to enhance its capabilities. With the continuous development of the Falcon rocket, we can expect LC 39A's operations to become even more vibrant in the years ahead, solidifying its position as an icon of excellence in the aerospace industry. The journey to conquer space always harbors challenges and surprises, yet both SpaceX and NASA showcase extraordinary resilience and determination. Starship 5 continues to impress with its breakthrough performance into the sky. This test flight marks a significant leap forward in SpaceX's space exploration journey. However, Starliner keeps NASA on edge with unexpected technical issues. Postponing the first crewed flight serves as a reminder of the thorny difficulties in developing new space technologies, nevertheless, both events underscore remarkable progress in the field of space exploration. We can wholeheartedly look forward to marvelous things in the future as humanity draws closer to the vast mysteries of the universe. That concludes today's video. If you found this video informative, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more intriguing updates on vehicles and technology. Goodbye for now, and see you in the next video.